for the song. Goods, cash for the fence. Goods, cash for the noggins and the piggins and the perkins. Cash for the hogshead, cask and dingy junk. Cash for the crackers and the pickles and the fly paper. Look, what do you talk? 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 Where do you get it? What do you talk? You can jump, you can jump, you can bicker, you can talk, you can bicker, 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 you can talk, you can talk, you can jump, talk, 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 bicker, 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 you can jump all you want, but it's different than it was. No, it ain't, no, it ain't, but you got no territory. Shh, shh, shh. Why well, it's one T four? Me, they told me the people want to go, want to get, want to get up and go. Seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, twenty-two, twenty-three miles to the county seat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who's gonna patronize a little bitty two by four kind of store anymore? What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you get? Not the mouthy at all. Take a gander at the store, the modern store, the present day store, the present day modern beef parts, and I like grocery store. What do you talk? 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 Where do you get it? What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you talk? Where do you get it? You can talk. You can dick it. You can talk. You can dick it. You can talk. 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 You can talk by your own voice different than it was. No, it ain't, no, it ain't, but you got no territory. Like, it's a you need to piss me in the trouble. Like, you need to, you need to put your crackers in a patch. Like, you need to, you need to put your crackers in an airtight, penetrating patch with the cracker barrel. Obsolete, 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 obsolete. Cracker barrel went out the window with the mouth out, stuck low, charmed by the stove. Changed the approach of the traveling salesman, made it pretty hard. No, it didn't, no, it didn't, but you got no territory. Gone, gone. Gone with the hogs head, just getting dimmy Gone with the sugar barrel, pickle barrel, milk pad. Gone with the clubs and the barrel and the tips. Ever met a fellow by the name of Hill? 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 No! Just a minute! Just a minute! Just a minute! Never heard of any salesman in Hill. Now he doesn't know the territory. Doesn't know the territory. It's about his line. Never worries about his line. Never worries about his line. Or for the cracker barrel being obsolete. Or the you need a biscuit in an airtight sanitary package or the Model T Ford. Just a minute! Just a minute! Just a minute! Never worries about his line. Never worries about his line. Or doggone thing. He's just a bang beat bell ring a big hole, great go, neck or nothing, rip roaring every time a bull's eye is self. That's Professor Harold Hill. Harold Hill. So, He's a fake and he doesn't know the territory. What do you talk? 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 He's a music man. He's a what? He's a what? He's a music man and he sells clarinets to the kids in the town with the big trombones and the rat hat drums. Big brass bass, big brass bass. And the piccolo, the piccolo uniforms too with the shiny gold braid on the coat and a big red stripe running. Well, I don't know much about that, but I do know you can't make a living some big trombones. No, sir. Mandolin picks, perhaps, and there are there too. No, the fellow sells bands. Boys, bands. I don't know how he does it. But he lives like a king, and he dallies, and he gathers, and he clocks, and he shines. And when the man dances, certainly, boys, what else? The piper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When the man dances, certainly, boys, what else? The piper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But he doesn't know the territory. <laughs>
interesting or rigged for Sunday, if you could accommodate me. Can I expect you all to see the man in charge of hiring Blake? Billy Blake, as usual. Hey, Gregory! Marcellus! Why, you old son of the... Oh, Greg. Professor Hill's the name Harold Hill. Oh, but Greg, what are you doing here? I mean, why didn't you let me know you was coming? I didn't know it was myself. Besides, how'd I know you'd end up in a little tank town like this? You were a pretty big slicker when you were in business with me. Uh, too many close shaves the way you were. Besides, got me a nice comfortable girl. Ethel Stockholmeyer. The boss is mixed. I uh, go on legitimate, huh? I knew you'd come to no good. Uh, so what's the new pitch? Yeah, I'm back in the band business. I you were steam on the beach. Well, I was. Well, what happened? Somebody actually invented one. <laughs> now, give me the lowdown here, Marsh. Well, never get anywhere in the band business with these stubborn items, Greg. Besides, we got a stuck up music teacher here who'll expose you before you get your grip on Pat. Male or female? Music teacher? She's my brick. Female. Perfect. That's just what I wanted to hear. Point her out to me if she uh, passes by. Oh, I will. So, uh, how are you going to start your pitch? Uh, same old way. Keep that music teacher off balance. And then get your town or the serious trouble it's in. River City isn't in any trouble. <laughs> well, then I'll have to create some. You remember, I need to create a desperate need for a boys' band. Now, what's new around here? What can I use? <laughs> Nothing. Except the uh, billiard parlor just put in a new pool table. They've never had a pool table here before? Nope, only babies. Uh, that'll do. Thanks a lot, Mars. And remember, music teacher. Music teacher? Ah, uh, you're Mr. Dunlop? Yep. Friend, either you're closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you are not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friend. Right here, I say trouble right here in River City. Why, sure, I'm a billion place. I'm mighty proud to say, I'm always mighty proud to say it. I consider that the hours I spend with the cue in my hand are golden. Comes to cultivate forces and a cool head and a keen eye. You take a try to give an eye to leave yourself in a grim rail and fill your shot. But just as I say, take some judgment. The range of maturity is scorn to fall on a game. I say that any fool can take and shove a ball in a pocket. And I call that slot the first big step on the road to the depths of the day to take. I say first, a little bit of this water, a teaspoon, then beer from a bottle. And the next thing you know, your son is playing for one money in a pinchback suit. Something out of town, Jasper, and here I'm talking about a horse race scandal. Not a wholesome trap race, no, but a race where they set down and ride on a horse. I'd like to see some stuck up fun truck boy setting on a day and patch. Make blood boil, well, I should say. Now, friends, let me tell you what I mean. He got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets on the table. Pockets that mark the difference between the gentleman and a bum. That will be in that rhymes with P and that stands for four. Now, a week long, a river city you can be further away. Say, your young men will be free. Frittering away at their noontime, supper time, George, I'm too. Hit the ball in the pocket, never mind getting dandelions bold on the screen door patch with the beef steak pounded. Never mind pumped any water to your parents or pump with a cistern empty on a Saturday night, and that's trouble. Yes, you got lots and lots of trouble. I'm thinking about the kids in the neck about the shirt down, young ones, bigger than the bull all winners. I've slowly got trouble, folks. Right here in the city. And that rhymes with P and that stands for four. Now, I know all you folks are the right kind of parents, and I'm gonna be perfectly frank. Would you like to know what kind of conversation goes on while they're looking around that hall? Trying out Bevo, trying out Cubeb, trying out Tails or Mates like cigarette beans, and bragging all about how they're gonna cover up a telltale breathless sense on one fine night. They leave the pool all headed to the dance of the Arctic, the team men and Scarlet women, and ragged time. Shameless rules that'll drag your son to a
following me all over town. Oh, I never saw him before. Did he say anything? Oh, he tried. Did you say anything? Of course not, Mama. Now don't dawdle on her list. So do Dear. If you don't mind my saying so, it wouldn't have hurt you to find out what the gentleman wanted. I know what the gentleman wanted. What, oh dear? You'll find it in Fogg's Act. Excuse me for living, but I never read it. Neither has anyone else in this town. There you go again with the same old comment about the low mentality of river city people and taking it out too much too hard. Now, Mom, as long as the matters of public library was entrusted to me for the purpose of improving river city's social level, I count my concern that the When a woman's got a husband and you've got none, why should you take advice from you? Even if you can't quote Bald and Shakespeare and all the mother hyperlimited Greeks. Mom, if you don't mind my saying so, you have a bad habit of changing every subject. I haven't changed the subject, I was talking about the stranger or stranger with a suitcase of baby, your very last challenge. Mom, do you think that I'm allowed to come to national relief? Well, I have my donors, but men are concerned, and I have no intention. I know all about your standards, but if you don't mind my saying so, that's not to matter.
it's fine, stereopticon and slide. Also to Ethel Toppelmeyer, our fine player piano player. Piano. As mayor of River City, I welcome all you River City. River City. River Citizens to the 4th of July exercises set up here for the outdoors in our square. Account the beautiful weather. <clears throat> Four score and seven years ago. <laughs> Four score and seven years. The members of the school board will now present a patriotic tableau. The members of the school board will not present a patriotic tableau. Some disagreement about the costumes, I suppose. Instead, the Watani girls of the local wigwam of Hiawatha will present a spectacle, my wife, <laughs> oh, in which, in which my wife, Eulalie McCachnishin, will play a leading role.
Creator, W.C. Handy, and John Philip Sousa. All came to town on the very same historic day. 76 trombones left the big parade with 110 cornets right behind. And followed by rows and rows of the finest virtuosos, the cream of every famous band. 76 trombones off the morning sun with 110 cornets right behind. Through more like a thousand reeds, spring up like weeds. Great Hawk, I wonder where it 
get some wire from? Look in your cellar. That's where people keep their wire. <laughs> oh, and Tommy. Yes, sir? Now, Constable, I'll show you how to break up a gag. Oh, young lady. Oh, miss. Oh, what's your name? Danita. I had no idea you'd been talking to me. Yes, God! Do you know Tommy Gilles? Well, I... Tommy, this is Anita. Escort the young lady home. Only, I'm not going home. I have to go to the library. Yes, God! Then escort the young lady home by ways of the library. By ways of the candy kitchen. Yes, sir. Do I have to? You have to. Yes, sir. Thank God! <laughs> Professor, you're a bright man, but you've made a couple of mistakes. Oh? The mayor happens to own that billiard parlor and the new pool table. Oh. And uh, what was my other mistake? That's Anita. She's the mayor's oldest girl. <laughs> Books. Uniforms and instruction books? You can't pass yourself up as a band leader. I mean, not for any four weeks. 
Mars. But Greg, you don't know one note from another. <laughs> ah, but I have a revolutionary new idea called the Think System, where you don't even bother with notes. But in four weeks, these folks are going to want to hear music. You're going to have to lead a band. But in four weeks, when the uniforms arrive, they'll forget everything else. At least long enough for me to collect and leave. Oh, this is a refined operation, son. And I have the time to the last wave of the Rickman Sand. I'm the last train out of town. Now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Washburn, you'll line yourself up a little canoodle or not. Well, I can say, you know, I can fix you up with Ethel's sister. She's a lovely girl. She teaches Sunday school. You know what? I'd pull some innocent Sunday school teacher for me. That kind of girl spins webs no sweat ever. Now listen, boy. A girl who trains in all that purity really wants to trade my independence for her security. The only affirmative she was out of first to marching down the aisle with no bold and glorious gleaming pristine goddess. No, sir. For no Diana do I play fall, and I can tell you that right now. I snarl, I hiss, how can ignorance be compared to bliss? I spark, I fizz, for the lady who knows what time it is. I cheer, I rave, for the virtue I'm too late to save. This shadow of the wise is gonna pull me. No bright eyed, blushing, breathless baby doll, baby. No, sir, that kind of child ties nuts. No sailor ever knew. I prefer to take a chance on a more adult romance. Those two young miss who keeps insisting all the time she keeps insisting. No one, I pull some innocent female. No, sir, why she's a fisherman and I'm the fish you see. Oh, I flinch, I shy. When the last of the delicate air goes by, I smile. I grin when the guy with a touch of sin walks in. I hope, I pray.
nothing and it doesn't make any difference. What are you talking about? Oh, you were probably very young. Anyone can make a mistake. What? Oh, no apologies, no explanations, please. I'll oh, only be in town a short while and uh, the sad but wise ago for me. I have. Well, what do you want to take out? The librarian. The librarian. And you're not listening to me. Look. Marion. Marbles. Six Steelies, eight Aggies, a dozen Peewees, and one big glass with an American flag in the middle. I think I'll drop them. No! Madam Librarian.
I'm sure if I just talk. Do first in everyone's home like this brought you to personal affairs? We're not interested. Marry him. Well, that's one for and one against. Why not let the boy's father decide? The boy's father is dead. Anything else? Well, I am sorry. But that's all the more reason for him to have something like My this. brother is a ten-year-old problem child who can't understand why his father was taken away from him. Would you care to explain it to him? He's been brooding about it for two years. As for your musical tricks, why don't you go into business with some nice carnival man who sells gold painted watches and glass diamond rings? Miss Peter, musical tricks, I hardly... I get the feeling she likes the idea. Oh, a little hesitant at first, but I admire that in a woman. Now just keep me alive and I'll be back later in the week. One moment, Professor. Yes. About the boy's measurements, I make all his clothes, sleeve 21, waist 18, crack 15. Fine, fine, that's all I need. I really must get back to those help. Oh, and Professor, I do hope you'll excuse Marion. She's not a well. No, don't worry about it at all. I'm sure that at heart she's as lovely as you. Good day. <laughs> Good day. Has he gone? He has, and I hope not forever. Darling, don't you ever think of your future? Daddy, Indiana, conservation class of Art 5. No, darling. Now, Mama, surely I guess futures is depend on encouraging every fast-talking, self-centered, woman-chasing, traveling man that comes into town. And the fact that he claims his commodity is music does not, in this particular case, impress me. All right, darling, all right. Only it's a well-known principle that if you keep the flint in one drawer and the steel in another, You'll never strike much of a fire. Mama! Winthrop, Winthrop, I know you're there. Would you please go to the library and ask me scrap to get the book I set aside? It's the Indiana State Educational Journal, 1890 to 1910. It's a large brown bottle, black corners. Do I have to? You won't have to talk to anyone. I've written it all down. Thank you, dear. Now, what are you up to? What do you need books at this hour of the night for? I have a feeling the Indiana Journal may help me poke some rather large holes in the professor's claims. Well, I give up. At your age, if you don't mind my asking, what kind of white knight do you expect to come riding along? Well, I'm not waiting for Luther Griner to back into the ancient history shelf every time he comes into the library. He does. Or Ed Gamage, and that buggy of his with the removable back seat. But. I'm not waiting for a man in shiny white armor either. No.
supper. I can't. It's not for me tonight. Who do you wear? The footprint. You see? Isn't that just what I said? First, you want me to meet in the lumber yard. And now the footbridge. Where do you want me to meet next? In Black Hole, Calcutta? Yes, gods! I only want to show you my invention. My music holder for a marching piccolo player. Now, it still has a couple of minor flaws, like when you keep it tight enough to hold the music steady, you cut off the circulation and you can't wiggle your fingers. Uh, meanwhile, you could go blind. Quick, Tommy, pop! Is that the first thing I said, or isn't it? Yes, sure. Yes, the very first thing I said. <laughs> or I'll eat hay with a horse. Get that spell by her credentials. The morning of July 4th, 19 and 12. And now, look, my wife is dancing at any and all hours instead of in the home. But George, uh, the school board is singing up street and down alley instead of tending city matters. My oldest girl is boodling around with some wild kid. And my business has fallen off so far I can't find the balance sheet. Mayor Shin, I found some very interesting information in this book about Professor Hill's alma mater. His who? His university. Oh, I know all about that. In fact, it's the only thing I can ever get out of him. Gary Conservatory, class of off five. If you just take a little bit of time to read about the conservatory, I don't think you'll have to look any further. It's on page... Papa! The Wells Fargo wagon checks coming up from the depot! The Wells, Wells Fargo, Fargo wagon? Oh, nonsense. At this hour of the day, the it's Wells Fargo wagon... It could be the band instrument! Oh, the band instrument? <laughs>
Greek Dance Committee meets Tuesday nights over at the high school.
you. Well, we'd rather do it in front of your back, but do what? Oh, never mind. Zanita scared you, but I'm not. I hate that you can have your own daughter scared of you. Great fun. I'm going to warn you once more. If I ever catch you touching my daughter, I'll horse with you till hell won't happen again. Now, Joe! Oh, not one poop out of you, madam. <laughs> yes. Now get out of this public square. I have as much right to public square as anyone in this town. Right. How do you get any right around here? Aiding and abetting the spellbinding acts of that swindling symbol salesman. Oh, would you know what I see written all over your face? Reform school. Now get out! Get out, you wild kid, get out! <laughs> <laughs> it's half fields like you that make blood boil in the marketplace! It's time! You want your phraseology, young woman. Go for it! Uh, you lady. Sure. Uh, you tend to your dance. My dance. I'll handle Zanita taking up with older kids from the wrong side of town. You should if I could just make you understand. Well, you can't. And by the way, thanks for nothing. I read that book you gave me for, from cover to cover for an entire week and did not find a thing. Mr. Mayor, if you please. Well, I'll settle the door hash as soon as I get these premises off my daughter. Yes. All right, but in the meantime, I'd like you to know that I'm vouching for Tommy Gillis. He's got the confidence of every kid in town, and you'll be waiting in line to shake his hand by the time our band plays its first concert. By the time your band plays its first concert. The individual members will have to foregather in wheelchairs on account of the grown beards they'll have. You know what I see? My fine young feather. Oh, my feather young Ooh, Never mind. Oh, and Oliver, you are chasing. I've got his credentials, and I want them tonight. Do not let him out of your sight. He's slipperier than a Mississippi sturgeon. You mean, you want his credentials? Get his papers or get him in jail. Couldn't make myself any clearer if I was a butt hook in the well water. Professor Hill, I think Mayor Schoon behaved abominably. I think it's wonderful if you for coming to Tommy's defense. Was that? It was nothing. Oh, yes, it was. Oh, no. A man can't dodge an issue every time a little personal risk is involved. What does the poet say? The coward dies a thousand deaths, the brave man only 500. <laughs> But already the mayor was pretty upset on account of his billiard parlor. But I suppose a musical recommendation from an authority like yourself would help, but oh, I couldn't think of asking you to do a thing like that. Why, Professor Hill. You would? I'd be glad to. I just wish I was a little more informed. I've been wanting to talk to you about Winthrop's cornet. This cornet, Mother of Pearl Keys. I'm sure it's fine. But you see, he never touches the thing. Well, the first week or so, he made a few, uh, experimental blacks, I guess you'd say. Yes, yes, blacks. And he sings the minuet and dee da dee almost constantly. la dee da dee da dee da dee da la dee da la dee da But he never touches the cornet. Well, you see. He says you told him it wasn't necessary. Well, I. He says something about some kind of think system. That if he think the minuet in G, he would have to bother with the notes. Now, Professor. Miss Marion, the think system is a revolutionary new idea, I'll admit. So is Galileo's conception of the heavens, Columbus' conception of the egg, uh, globe, <laughs> Bach's conception of the well tempered cloud cord. Hmm. Now, I cannot discuss these things in public, but if you'll allow me to call. When may I call? Why, any night this week.
here. You know all week I'm trying to give you fellas my references and credentials, but every time you seem to get off the subject somehow, nah, I have just what you need over at the hotel. Take me a sec. Ray will have to go with you. Yes, well, uh, let's see if I have my key. What's this? A testimonial from Madame Green, the only female bassoon player to ever appear on the Red Path circuit. Her stage name, of course, actually she was from Maureen. Lila Rose Quackenbush. Can I see that a minute? Oh, you'll never forget that name. Sims the old song, Lila Rose. Lila Rose, I'm home again, Rose. To get the sun back in the sky.
I'm gonna go show Amarillo for my live frog. La di da di da. Leave the dishes, I'll do them, Mama. All right, darling, but don't you have to change for the sociable? Most time later. All right. <laughs> She's living around here somewhere. Uh, the shit home is on East Elm. This is West Elm. Oh, crime me. I see the piano teacher in town. You must know about this fella Hill, former boys man. Yes? Well, don't let it worry you no more. I got the goods on him in spades. Swindle him to do the order. That's why I got to see shit. Only passing through, though. Number eight makes a 15 minute water stop. Sure, she was 20. Could stand to concentrate just five minutes on you, girly girl. Who are you? Name's Charlie Cowell, and the sailor. But just for now, I'm out to protect the good name of the traveling fraternity from that swindling two bit thimble rich. Cowell, you're making a big mistake. Mistake, my old lady's course at cover. There's. God. That fella's been the raspberry seed in my wisdom tooth just about long enough. He spoiled Illinois for me, he's not gonna spoil Iowa. Say, what kind of music teacher are you? You didn't see right through him. Why, he's no more professor. I know all about them. Band leaders are always called professor. It's a harmless deception. He's a fine conductor and hits the <laughs> last. Now, wait a minute. Fine conductor. Have you heard one note of music from any band? No, but. But, but nothing, girly girl. There ain't never been a band. And there ain't never gonna be one. See you next time through. You'll never get the train at the depot. You'll have to get it at the crossing. No, sir. I've got to leave work. And I can see you ain't the one to leave it with. Now, just a minute, uh, Mr. Cowell. You don't know me very well yet. Is that an invitation? Uh, no, I mean, yeah, I don't know you. Anywhere. I mean, as well as I'd like to. No trouble there. I've never met a man who sells anvils before. That's something, well, quite... <coughs> Different. It takes a real man to sell an anvil, you know. They've got a limited appeal. <laughs> what am I doing? I miss that train and I'll lose my job, and I've got to leave word about that fella. Leave word with me. Not on your tin top. How do I know you deliver those letters? To ride me. <laughs> <laughs> quiet, and he's taking it away from every one of them. Neither one of you are the last of me, girl or girl. Before ask any questions. I, I take your word. 
Could we sit down? Are all music teachers as dense as I am? All music teachers? I dare say you've met dozens. Even a hundred. Well, I... Have they all been as fascinated as I have with the, the think system? Hmm. Some more, some less. One woman thought up the same system I did before I got to her town. <laughs> she showed me a few refinements. I see. Have I said something wrong? Please don't let me keep you waiting, Professor. You must have many more important things to do than explain the think system to me. Can't think of one. It must be very dull company for men of your experience. Now say, where'd you get an idea like that? One hears rumors of traveling salesmen. Miss Marion, you mustn't believe everything you hear. One hears rumors about librarians as well. I suppose you're referring to Uncle Maddie. Uncle Maddie? Mr. Madison, my father's best friend. No matter what they say, he left me an assured job so Mother and Winter and I would have some kind of security. Surely you don't believe. Of course not. That's exactly what I'm saying. Now, what do you think starts these rumors? Narrow-mindedness, jealousy. Jealousy, mostly. Exactly, and jealousy mostly starts rumors about traveling salesmen. you heard? Oh, nothing about you personally, just generally. What have you heard generally? Well, just that. But of course it stands to reason that, that, that disappointment and jealousy can lead to. I mean, take you for instance, your attentions to, to, to customers. And well, teachers might easily be misinterpreted, mightn't they? I mean, honestly now, mightn't they? What? And so you said, if another salesman or, or somebody were jealous, well, uh, it could be downright lies, couldn't they? What could? Rumors and things. Why, of course. It just proves you should never believe everything you hear. I mean, you just discuss things. Marion, I would love to discuss anything in the world with you. But couldn't we do it sitting down? You do sit. Your knees bend and all. We could sit on the porch steps. Well, we could sit on a hollow log over at the footbridge. I couldn't think of it. I've never been to the footbridge with a man in my life. You just to talk. I can. I have to dress for the sociable. Then meet me there in 15 minutes. I can't, please. Uh, some other time. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, my dear little librarian. Pile up enough tomorrows when you find you collected nothing but a lot of empty yesterdays. I don't know about you, but I'd like to make today worth remembering. Oh, so would I. The footbridge. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. <laughs> Mama! What here? I just told Professor Hill I need him at the footbridge in fifteen minutes! Glory be the king of <laughs> It works! What works? system on you from the parlor. <laughs> Marcellus. The uniforms arrived. The kids are in them already. People are going to be screaming for music. Those kids walk the social book. Yeah. Here's most of the money. They got Tommy to collect it. He's pretending to hold a practice over at the lumberyard. He's trying to keep the kids together at least. All right, uh, why don't you go get the ring? I got it. What time's the break go? 9.43 in the junction. Then it's not even 8.30 yet. Hey, look, you and the turtle were all around here and get yourself caught up in a bunny trap. You go ahead. Uh, don't worry, Marshall. I'll meet you over at the hotel in plenty of time. Well, Miss Marion, you're late. But you said 15 minutes. Well, what I meant to say was that you were about 26 years late. It took you all this time to get to the footbridge with the fella. If you want to know the truth, it was almost longer. Oh? Halfway here, I, I nearly turned back. I suppose I'm not the first to find it easier to think clearly, but not have the spell of your salesmanship. Miss Marion, you certainly don't believe I've been selling you anything. Oh, no. You've given me something. That's why I came. I don't recall giving. Oh, yes, you have. Something wonderful. That's why I came. <coughs> I'm so glad. Please don't be afraid that I expect too much more. I can expect a traveling salesman to stay put. I know there have been many ports of call, and there will be many more. 
It's no reason for me not to be grateful to you for what you have left behind. For me.
Then I modestly joke my place as the one and only base, and I own bog up and down the square. With 110 cornets right behind. Our story shining is bright as love. There were horns of every shape and time. Sweet dreams be yours, dear, if dreams there be.
Now, just a minute, I want to talk to you. I won't listen. You wouldn't tell the truth. Would too? Would not. I would too. I'll tell you anything you want to know. And you lead a bad? No. You big liar? Yes. You dirty, rotten crook? Yes. Let me go, you big liar. Let me go. I know. What's the problem? You wanted the truth, didn't you? Now, I'm bigger than you, and you're going to sit here and stop. So you might as well quit wiggling. There are two things you're entitled to know. One, I thought you were a great kid from the start. That's why I wanted you in the band. So you quit walking around moping, feeling sorry for yourself. But the other thing I'm entitled to know. Well, the other thing actually really isn't any of your business now that I come to think about it. I wish you'd never come to River City. No, you don't. Sister, you believe him? I believe everything he ever said. But he promised us. I know what he promised us. And it all happened, just like he said. The lights, the colors, and the flowers, and the symbols. Where was all that? Why every kid in this town walked around here all summer and looked and acted. Especially you. And the parents, too. Does mom wish she'd never come to River City? But you do, don't you? No. No, go, Please. Go on, Feather. Go. Oh. I can't go with her. Why not? For the first time in my life. Standing there like a foot of shit. 
Shropshire sheep. Have you all forgot about the expensive, fancy uniforms you bought? About the technical instruments and instrument books you had purchased? Have you all forgotten about the clear warranty that your children would learn to play in a band? Well, where's the band? Where is the band? 